Alright, hello, uh, I'm Felix. I'm Sam. <laughs> and I'm Hanson. And we did that keyboard calculator. Um, so, we had a switch that switched it between a keyboard and a calculator, and our keyboard displayed um, letters, numbers, symbols, and then um, to make it capitalized or symbols, you hit the caps lock key, and then that changed it to either capitalized or symbol. And then pressing escape clears the screen, and then enter moves it to the next line or clears the screen when it exceeds two lines, and then tab shifts it over three spaces. And then for the calculator, um, we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and um, the remainder. Okay, so this is our system block diagram. Software we wrote for mostly functions for the, for the um, calculator and like get home number is basically a string that's a string to integer function we wrote and then on the string translates scan code to the keyboard and our error to errors for when errors in input for the calculator. We said calculator display clears and writes and some other functions like just know if it's a symbol or negative. Uh, so basically what we did first is we wanted to get our, um, we wanted, well we used um, the LED and switch, so we had to test those first. Um, so we tested those and then um, we had an LC working for our previous lab, so we used the um, LC and tested that. Um, afterwards we went on to the keyboard where we found the baud rate, and so to test the keyboard we just like, um, we just push a button and then it would display to the LCD. So after we got that working, we just, um, we just, what do you call it? Oh, we translated all the scan codes, so, and we had to do that manually, so every scan code you push, or every button you push generates a scan code which translates into a character displayed on the LCD. Uh, after we got that working, uh, we moved on to our calculator, where um, first we, the scan codes for the calculator were different because we keep, um, on the calculator mode, um, you have to use the numbers only and several um, other operators, but the rest of the the rest of the letters don't um, they don't they'll generate an error. So uh, so after we got the keyboard scan codes for the calculator, we um, we had to implement each um, each operation, which. It was sort of tedious because the negatives, um, we can't really, I don't know, like the negatives, we had to display it around the CD. And yeah, so basically off that, all that software, after all that software, we played it our calculator. And then, that's a camera calculator. And we would like to take questions, actually. Yeah. Do you have uh, floating point calculations? No, it's a, ca it's a computer calculator, so you do division gives you so like ten divided by three give you three. And then if you do modulus, I'll give you the remainder. Hold your applause to the end, please. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't just seen the demo. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't going to work. Do you want to plug Yeah. Thanks. So we just have a switch that uh, switches between keyboard mode and calculator mode, and we have an LED, LED that lights on. Just Wait, like hold up. My USB is not plugged in. <laughs> for every second delay. <laughs> <laughs>
calculated too. All right, so uh, so first, if the switch is down, uh, switch zero if it's down. Uh, it's in a keyboard mode, so if you just type, whatever. So you can like uh, type, and then when you reach the end of the line, it'll go to the next line. And then we have tabs, clears, and then. So if you hit tab, it'll space it over three. And then we so have like if you hit tab, and then. Yeah. Regular if you're um at the end of the if you're at the, near the end and there's not three spaces available, if you hit tab again, it'll move over to the next line. So if you start, if I, I just hit tab and now I'm typing again, and if you reach the um, end again and you hit tab, it'll clear the screen and move back up to the first one mm -hmm. or the next one. And um, escape clears the entire screen, and you start over. And we have enter that kind of. If you hit enter, uh, it'll just move on to the next line. And if you're on the second line already and you hit enter again, it'll clear the screen and move back up to the first line. And we just have caps locks for the... Oh, um, if you hit caps locks, yeah, it'll capitalize letters and... Kind of shift the symbols too. And so like in caps locks, it's basically a shift. So if you type like number eight, instead of getting eight, you'll get a star. And if you type like seven, you'll get an and sign. So the caps lock shifts it. Um, what else is there on the keyboard? Does the keypad work? The keypad does not work. It's only uh, these. Okay. Do the LEDs work on the keyboard? The LEDs on the no, keyboard. We need to turn the no, caps it doesn't lock. transmit from right. the board to the. Um, okay, so um, switch the calculator. Uh, if you if, if you switch the if you. Um, if you turn the switch on, it goes into calculator mode, and you can type in uh, numbers. So he did 34 plus two plus one, and that gives you 35. So it would do addition. And um, if you type in a wrong, if you type in something else, like besides a number, or it'll give you an error. Or like if you um, if you have 90, let's say, and then you do plus, and I think if you do plus again, it'll error because you can't do plus plus. Um, it does negative numbers too, so if I do like negative 80 minus 9, uh, I think that gives you eight, negative 89. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the modulus operator, uh, you M is for modulus, M modulus, so <laughs> let's say 80 modulus 5, that should be 0. So uh, modulus does that, and um, for multiplication, like five, six times x is for multiplication. Six times five would give you thirty, and it does negative numbers also. So yeah, and if you switch modes, um, it'll clear the screen. So I'm back in keyboard mode, and if I go back in calculator mode, so can you do yeah. five divided by zero? Uh, I think yeah, sure. I don't. Five divided by zero. Oh, five divided by zero. Wouldn't that yeah. be zero? Yeah, I specifically yeah. asked for divided by zero. <laughs> <laughs> so five divided by zero. Well, anything divided by zero. It's undefined. It's undefined. So yeah. <laughs> oh, now we know what it is. <laughs> Not oh, anymore. oh! So you don't <laughs> check for that? <laughs> yeah, we don't check. Uh, <laughs> research papers come out of Cal Poly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, let's give him a hand.